Hey guys, tonight uh, we are playing Clue on the Super Nintendo just because. Because we're in quarantine and there's nothing else to do on a Saturday night. Mr. Body was found in the study. Was Miss Scarlet the key? She was seen with the rope. Would she have used it? I don't know. I'm really bad at Clue. My family and I used to play Clue all the time, and I literally never won, even though most of my family will remember me winning most games, but Clue was never one of them. Um, just could not figure it out. Then we got Clue Master Detective version, that had more suspects, more rooms, and more weapons, and I did even worse with that one. Um, so we'll see if I can win at Super Nintendo Clue. I'm going to put it on medium difficulty. I guess I might be good enough to be a sleuth, hopefully. Otherwise, this is going to be an episode of watch an idiot play Clue by himself and lose. All right, we're going to make this uh, six players. Just make it a party. I'm gonna be Mr. Green. He looks like an a-hole, so... Human, yes, okay. Next player is Miss Scarlet. There's a computer. Next player... Colonel Mustard. Outranks uh, Lieutenant Ketchup. Computer. Next player... Mrs. White. Computer, next player. This is Peacock. Computer, next player. And finally, Professor Plum. Not sure what he's a professor of. He's going to be computer, maybe Professor Plum. The uh, professor of gender studies. Alright. Show Green's cards. Yes, please. Alright. Rope, lead pipe, ballroom. Also, um, I know there's like a system for figuring out this mystery, but I never really learned it. Uh, I would always just write stuff down as if it were helping me to make logical deductions, but really, I had no idea what was going on. And I think that's probably going to be the case this time. So, let's see. Let's get this started. Clue. And lounge the whole Miss Scarlet's turn. One. Colonel Mustard. This guy's move at a fast pace. I hope I can keep up. Mrs. White. One. All right. Let's see if I can beat one. One! No. Okay, everyone's low. rolling pretty low. Five. Do, 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 do. Professor Plum. I notice all the fists rolling the dice are white. There's not much representation in this game. All the characters are white, too. I mean, one of them is even named Mrs. White. Oh, my turn, okay. Big money, big money, big money, no whammies. Wife just asked if I wanted a frozen uh, veggie patty. Why not? Mrs. Peacock, all right. One. Oh, Plum is going in. He's thinking Colonel Mustard with the knife in the study. Ooh, a little drama. There's the carpet. Empty desk. The knife was not in the study. Alright. Um, good to know. I'm not really sure what to do with that information. <laughs> but I'm going to write it down. Knife. Not in the study. Yeah, I know the significance of that, sure. Alright, six. 
lounge. All right, Scarlet's going into the lounge. She's saying it was the candlestick. She's accusing herself. Miss Scarlet was not in the lounge. This investigation makes no sense. She just dashed into an empty room, accused herself of murder, and determined that... Oh, what? Suggestion? What is this? Oh, he's, so he's staying in the room. He thinks it was me with the knife in the study. Oh no, he thinks it was Plum. Okay, Plum was in the hall. this music. Alright, Plum was in the hall. Mrs. White's turn. One. She is not getting very far. I think she is suffering from rheumatoid arthritis. Just hobbling along that hall one step at a time. Alright. Big money, big money, big money. Three. Alright. Yeah. Still not quite inside a room. Five. Conservatory. The conservatory! She thinks Miss Scarlet with the candlestick. No weapon in the conservatory, so... I think the conservatory is just out. Like, nothing happened in the conservatory at all. Right? I mean, they couldn't have committed the murder in there if th there was no weapon in there, so... I don't remember the board game working that way, though. I thought each room had to have a weapon in it. She thinks mustard with the rope. In the conservatory, you idiot! There was no weapon in the conservatory. We just established that. And nor was mustard in there, so... Um, I guess if Mustard had been in the conservatory, we could just cross him off as a suspect altogether. Alright, what's Mustard's idiotic theory? White pipe conservatory! These guys are idiots! Ooh, wait, white revolver? Wait. Oh, now I'm confused. Mrs. White had a revolver, but did we establish she was in the conservatory? I don't know. But she did have the revolver. Probably without a permit. Mrs. White, oh, what stupid suggestion is she going to make? Scarlet rope conservatory. No, Scarlet pipe conservatory. She's putting on some lipstick. She was, in fact, in the library. I don't know how we found that out from asking if she was in the conservatory, but okay. So... Scarlet was putting on some lipstick in the library. Also, I know there's supposed to be like a a grid or a form you're supposed to fill out to keep track. I'm just writing stupid things on a notebook here that are really not going to help me at all. So, we'll see. Alright, see if I can get into a room this time. One! That's enough to get me into the ballroom. Who did it? <laughs> I'm gonna say it was me. I did it. With, um, well, it could not have been the revolver because Mrs. White had it. If I were Mr. Green... Well, Mr. Green and Mr. Goodwrench both start with G. Let's see what happens in this little play here. Hello, anything? Oh, here we go. Alright, um... 
Uh-huh, uh-huh. And the rope was in the ballroom. Of course it was. For the square dance. All right, rope, ballroom. E oh, okay, and turn. Mrs. Peacock. Oh, mustard knife. Wait, didn't they say li Oh! Alright, knife was in the kitchen with the little psycho sound effect. But did she not say lounge? Oh, okay, she did say lounge, but they said, no, the knife was not in the lounge. The knife was in the kitchen. That's a logical place for it. That's actually, I think the knife has a solid alibi, actually. Professor Plum is going to the study to get ready for finals. He thinks it was mustard with the knife. Mustard was not in the study. Alrighty. Actually, I think there is sort of a strategy behind asking these seemingly dumb questions like when you know the weapon isn't in the room but you ask if it was anyway because it helps you narrow other things down plum candlestick lounge the candlestick was in the library hmm so was miss scarlet okay um what's my end game here how do i actually figure out from all this information, who did it? I forget. Okay, well. Um, I'm not a betting man, but if I were, I would not put money on me to win this game. All right. Mustard with the knife in the study. Isn't that an empty desk? Mustard was not in the study. Didn't we establish that already? He doesn't like to study! Mrs. White's turn. She's coming into the ballroom. Mrs. Peacock. Wrench. Ballroom. Dun 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 Dun, dun, dun. Mrs. Peacock was not in the ballroom. Okay. There's quite a gathering in the ballroom here. All right, Mr. Green. Oh. I don't even know what I should be doing. I don't know. Once again, I will cast suspicion on myself. Well, did I learn anything about myself? Have I made any personal discoveries? No, I don't think so. I'll go with the wrench again. So I know it was not the conservatory. That's not where any of this went down. Oh, but I did learn that the wrench was in the lounge. Okay. Is that significant? I don't know. And turn. Mrs. Peacock is going to make a suggestion. Mrs. White with the revolver, which we know she owned, did she do it in the ballroom? No. Oh, wait, okay. 
so I think I remember how this goes now. So if we were to establish, for instance, that Mrs. White was in the ballroom an interrogation? Wait. What does this mean? Have they figured it out? Mrs. Scarlet Candlestick Tomes of Knowledge span the walls of the library. Okay. Miss Scarlet laughed as she fixed her makeup and hair. <laughs> she found the candlestick. Oh boy. Wait, I am certain it could not have been Miss Scarlet. I have proof. Okay. Thinks I did it with the rope. In the dining room. The rope was not in the dining room. No, it was in the ballroom. Okay. Back to Colonel Mustard. He's taking the secret passage to the kitchen. This <laughs> <laughs> Secret passage is more like just the crawl space filled with rotting insulation and rats' nests. The rope was not in the kitchen. No, it was not. Um, it was in the ballroom. Way to waste your turn, mustard. Alright, um... Mrs. White. Mr. Green. I... What is this interrogation feature? I don't know. I'm gonna interrogate myself. Um, again, I'm still kind of curious about that wrench. Did I do it in the hall with the wrench? Let's find out. Seven people had walked into the hall that day, but how many of them would be able to walk out. Mr. Green waited with anticipation. Looks like a disgruntled leprechaun. He deftly hefted the wrench. Wait, I am certain it could not have been Mr. Green. I have proof. Do you really? Okay. Mrs. Peacock. Now, because I hefted the wrench, does that mean I had it? I deftly hefted it. Plum my flange. No one was in the lounge. Alright, so... I think we can also cross lounge off our list of suspected murder scenes. Miss Scarlet. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Colonel Mustard. He's taking the secret passageway back to the study. He emerges with mouse droppings in his hair, spider webs in his beard. Oh, plum you absent-minded professor. Oh, he's got the pipe. Just took, you know, just got a muffler just lying on the table. So Plum did have a pipe. A nice alliterative murder weapon pairing. Plum pipe. Ooh, another interrogation. Seven people had walked into the hall that day, but how many of them would be able to walk out? Professor Plum pretended to study his notes. <laughs> Got a big lecture coming up. He picked up the pipe. And... Wait, I am certain it could not have been the pipe. I have proof. 
Oh, shoot. I have been mishandling some information. Okay, now I sort of see what this, what these interrogations are for. Okay, so pipe is just off the table. And that means Plum is no longer a suspect because he had the pipe. All right. Now, I think Mrs. Peacock from my interrogation said it could not have been me, Mr. Green. Now I'm sort of getting it. Probably too late to actually win, unless by dumb luck, but... One. Alright, uh... Wow, that was a waste of a turn, but... Okay. Peacock. Mustard. Knife. Ballroom. Dabs at her double chin with a tissue, grabs the knife, more of a letter opener. Okay, so, Peacock, she was not in the ballroom, but she did have a knife, and the knife was in the kitchen. Peacock, knife, kitchen, is that all I, wait, did I just solve this? That's three pieces of information that I know. Well, I don't know. Plum is taking the secret passage to the conservatory. He's accusing me with the rope. He's accusing somebody who didn't do it in a room that we've established was not the murder scene. And I didn't even have a weapon. Plum, you idiot. Mustard Wrench Ballroom. Dun da 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 ho ho! Mustard did not have the wrench. That means he was not in the lounge, I think. My notes are just getting out of hand. This is embarrassing. White revolver ballroom. Ho ho, what ho, chap? Let me investigate the ballroom with my monocle. Mustard was in the ballroom. All right. White revolver. Wait. Oh. The revolver was not in the ballroom. There's like a 90% chance I'm wrong, but I'm going to roll the dice. I think it was Mrs. Peacock with the knife. No, no, not in the conservatory, though. Oh, I meant to say kitchen. Yes, I know she was in the kitchen. Oh, if one of these other idiots gets to the truth before I do, I'm going to be really disappointed. Uh, I could make an accusation, but I think if you're wrong with an official accusation, you lose. Alright, I'll risk having another go-around. Suggestion, alright. Revolver.
All right, the revolver is not in the conservatory because Ugh, I don't know. The billiard room. This is white revolver. The revolver was in the billiard room, just sitting there on the table. So the revolver... Oh, and Mrs. White was in the billiard room also. The ballroom was filled with the echoes of parties long since dead. Colonel Mustard carefully cleaned his monocle. <laughs> he quickly coiled the rope. Wait, I am certain it could not have been Colonel Mustard. I have proof. Alrighty. Man, I don't know now. An accusa- oh no. She's making an official accusation. White revolver billiard room right oh the trophies hung as silent as as silent witnesses on the walls of the billiard room i have a feeling i just lost mrs white quietly tidied up the billiard room she reached for the revolver she wouldn't take it anymore oh my goodness and she missed. What a mess. This is dreadful business for a lady like me, Wink. How did you know I cleaned my trail completely? I'll be back. Yeah, right. You're going to the electric chair, lady. Oh my, I seem to have cooked my own goose. That's right. She just implicated herself in the murder. What a moron. Game over. Ah. I told you I wouldn't win. I was close, though. I did actually have that information uh, written down, and I, I might have gotten to it if, if she hadn't beaten me to it, but, you know. So that's Clue for the Super Nintendo. I hope you were as thrilled as I was to play through that. Uh, join me next time and uh, we'll play some more games together.